to OSU is for the amazing program they have out here at Hatfield Marine Science Center. We get to come out here and do this for class credit. It's amazing. We rockfish, we got surf perch, we got flatfish. If I had to guess, I would say it's a juvenile kelp. Nice job. The ocean is uh, absolutely critical to life on our planet, and we know it's changing. So we have to have some way to sort of keep our hands on the pulse of the planet. That's, which one is that? That's a high disaster. So when we have lecture, the students get the theories, but when they come out into the field, you can just see that there's a whole new level of understanding. I think if many of us look back on the courses that meant the most to us, it is the hands-on classes. That's what Hatfield provides and what the Marine Studies Initiative will be emphasizing. We've never had a student who didn't love the course, never. Not, not a single one. They love it. See, these guys are getting soaked, but they, they're having a good time. <laughs> Their training here allowed them to take on jobs that are very, very influential all around the world. Um, in academics, in government, um, in private industry. So one of the things I really love about working with oysters and working at this facility is it involves a lot of different aspects. You got the farmers that we work with a lot. We also have chemical oceanographers that are helping us kind of define our seawater systems. But we also work a lot with some of the economics people looking at what are going to be the impacts if the oyster industry starts to suffer. And the teams here are not just scientific teams. There's a they're the community, members of the community or members of industry that are partnering with us on, on these projects. So that's what makes, I think, makes Hatfield a rather unique place. The ocean and the coast mean so much to different people for different reasons. And the Marine Studies Initiative allows integration of that rather than uh, separation of that. Because of the, the, the way we're structuring Marine Studies, they're going to end up with that interdisciplinary approach. And it doesn't matter if they're going to work in the ocean or not. They will be ocean literate, but they will also have a skill set that they can apply anywhere. As we go forward, it is critical for our students to understand their role in society. And a way to do that is to get this cross-disciplinary education. It's to have those social science classes. It's to spend time on the coast with students from other majors where they can learn from them and understand that big picture that they're trying to be a part of. It's so important actually to not limit this to marine science because if you think about the ocean in its fullest form as a place of recreation, as a place of art, as a place of literature, as a place of general excitement, and you think about the number of people who live around the ocean, how much the ocean affects us in terms of food, in terms of recreation, just its very presence, it's the liberal arts that begins to help us make sense of the complexities around that in the most interesting kinds of ways. This is how we grow critical thinkers, this is how we grow the policy makers of the future, this is how we grow artists and musicians and writers who have a focus on the marine environment, is by allowing everybody to live and work together in a place like the Hatfield Marine Science Center. In order to be successful in marine cities, you have to be able to have some knowledge sort of across the board about all these different things. You can't go into uh, marine policy and not understand how policy decisions is going to affect communities. It's no coincidence that Newport uh, Fleet is, is known for innovations in fishing gear and activism in the political arena because it's part of the community. We're in touch and, and exchanging with the people who are, who are gathering the knowledge and uh, making the management decisions. And I think that's really healthy. And it's a little pair, and not a little pair is another population. We're there because we have a passion for the science, and we have a passion for the organism, we have a passion for the tool. And to be able to take that into your community is just a really powerful thing. Nothing compares to the opportunity here to collaborate with various agencies to interact with the local community and to work with students. Having this Marine Studies Initiative 
and the expansion of the faculty will spread over into the different federal and state agencies that are here, and it'll help to better prepare us for the future. I think the Marine Studies Initiative will continue OSU's leadership in ocean sciences and marine-related activities, and I think that we're going to uh, launch right to the front of, on the global scene, of solving uh, society's challenges. Some of the key issues that we're addressing, such as ocean acidification, such as sustainability of, of natural resources, such as renewable energy, coastal resilience, those are issues that are going to be critically important, already are critically important around the world. So globally, people should be very interested in what we're doing here. It's not just an experiment, it's going to have a very large impact. Mm -hmm.